Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to show you how to install a VM 12.1 on your OnePlus One. Uh, this is the XDA link of that uh, ROM and then this thread is, developed, uh, the thread is maintained by this developer X is magical and here is the screenshot and uh, features about the ROM and all. First go and download this ROM from the link here. Okay, it's uh, redirected to their site so you have to download from here there will be a link down below okay here you can see the uh, G apps download link first go and download the ROM for ROM file this is the VM 12 and this is VM 12.1 just download this VM 12.1 from that link and uh, uh, then you, you can download the G apps from here itself so you need to download the lollipop uh, which is based on android 5.1 so the rom is based on android 5.1 so you have to download the 5.1 g apps and if you need extra modes like max audio and oppo color os camera and all you can download from it. and if you need a root access you need to download see this super su as well for now and here you can see I downloaded both ROM file and then gapps file. Now I am going to copy these files to my OnePlus One. So here you can see I copied both ROM file and then gapps file to my OnePlus One. Now I am going to reboot my OnePlus One to recovery mode. I am using TWRP recovery. If you didn't flash that one, there is a link in the video description to show you how to install TWRP recovery. So to get Android into recovery mode, I have to press volume down and power button at the same time until this logo comes then release so you can see it loaded into TWRP recovery first of all it's better you take an android wake up of your current rom if something goes wrong you can always restore it later next you need to do a wipe factory reset wipe after that go back to the main screen again click on install and then browse for the downloaded rom file So this is the ROM file, select that one and flash. Okay, after the ROM flashing, go back and now this time install the G apps application. So that is also done. And if you need a root access, you need to flash the Super SU as well. So I'm flashing Super SU. And if you downloaded any mods or extra mods from the site, you can also flash after this. So after all flashing done, you need to reboot the system. Then you can see it started showing the boot animation. Remember that the first boot will take some time, so give it some time. Now file is installations with these settings. You need to select your language and then you need to give your Wi-Fi details. So after all, you can see it's loaded into a new ROM. If you go to the settings menu, about phone, you can find I'm using TM12.1 which is based on Android 5.1. So, if you want to see the review of this ROM, please check on the video description below, you will get a link. Thanks for watching, please subscribe for more.